All right, guys, welcome to this tutorial on plane versus tank combat. So I'm going to go over both planes and tanks. So the first part of the video is going to be planes. The second part is going to be tanks. So pilot's loadout, night vision goggles, the best vest you've got, and whatever the other thing you want. I put pilot for this one. And then, as well as your original loadout, have a javelin, RPG, stinger, explosive sniper if you've got it, a sticky grenade, because they're really useful against tanks, uh, a spear, and the best sniper you've got. Intervention, AWP, whatever you prefer, just make sure you've got it. All right, I'm just going to go over why you need all these. All right, so Javelin, if you need to eject from the plane, uh, then it gives you a good, like, 500 hit on him. Uh, next, the RPG, that basically does the same thing, but obviously unguided, so if you're a bit closer up, it's usually a bit more useful. Stinger, in case there's any other planes about. Explosive Sniper, because that does 100 damage to tanks per hit. Two Sticky Nades, because they're just good against tanks. I don't know the damage. Spear, in case you see any actual players. It's a really good AR if you can control the recoil. Pretty easy to prefer. And then a sniper, obviously, if you're at long range. Alright, so best playing against tanks. I think it's pretty obvious it's the F-35, but for the sake of this video, I'm going free to play. I am going to say the Eurofighter Typhoon, because personally, it is the best. I'll go into details why later on in the video. Alright, first thing you want to do, climb to about 500 studs. That's like the basic, really. Like, just so you don't crash into any towers or trees or anything like that. Alright, so what you shouldn't do is fly like this, just in a straight line, not really moving that much. Because if a tank sees you and you don't see the tank, it's easily just going to snipe you like that. So always, so all the time, just do a weird sort of manoeuvre, it doesn't matter what you do. As long as it's a bit weird and no one can really tell what you're doing. Just basically unpredictable movement. But don't do that, because I was really close to the water then. And make sure you stay high up as well. Alright, next thing, if you don't see any tanks, just destroy all bridges like this. Sort of go around the map, you know, mid bridges interbase bridges any kind of bridge really all right so say you spot a tank down there what you do is you immediately climb up to about 1700 studs you can see it in the bottom left altitude just climb up to about here i think i went a bit too high there because you can stall like that so don't go too high maybe like 1600 oh yeah find the tank again then you begin to dive now you listen very carefully to this if it's not moving and it hasn't spotted you uh, you want to hip fire all your missiles without using your gun. Right, so that's a bit complicated. I've got a clip on screen now of what I mean. Uh, but I'm just going to do it. Say, for example, there is a tank right there. All you want to do, you want to just press F and T like that. Fire all your missiles at it, then fly up. This is the reason why the Euro is the best for this, because you've got two missile types. So you can fire them really quickly and just get out. All right, now the next thing. If it's not moving, but it has spotted you, you just need to like swerve around a bit, as usual, unpredictable movement, until you see a main turret shell just fly right past you. And then as soon as you see it fly past you, you then go down and do another dive just like that. And you can use your gun on this one because it's already spotted you. Alright, but say it's moving and it's spotted you, then you do the same thing again. You swerve around, you wait for the turret shell to fly right past you, uh, then you basically just use all your missiles. Uh, obviously it's moving so it'll be a bit harder to hit with the hip fires but you can still use them if you want because that is a bit extra damage i think it's about 250 and this plane doesn't have any bombs but say if you did have bombs you can just do a dive like this drop your bombs and then go up just as you finish the dive and also if you've got bombs then you basically just dive down like that fire all your missiles then you just drop your bombs and swerve back up and while you're waiting for it to reload just sort of like go really high up like 1500 this is fine then just swerve around make sure it can't hit you but remember to be aware of other tanks and planes because obviously you don't want to be focusing on the one tank when, like, I don't know, an F-35 is coming right for you. So now that I'm reloaded, uh, all I've got to do is swerve around again, wait for the main turret shell to fly right past me, and then use my gun and everything I've got, basically, to fly into it, and then just go. Got to be really quick with this stuff. And I've got to try and do it before the turret shell reloads. Anyway, that should have killed the tank. Two dives, it should have done it. So now we're going to move on to tanks. Alright, so this is the tanker's loadout. Alright, night vision goggles, whatever vest you want, and whatever skin you want. Don't need a parachute, obviously. Explosive sniper if you've got it. RPG, because sometimes if the plane to fly in low and slow, you can hit it with an RPG. A stinger, obviously. Uh, a foul, a spear, and a chris. Just in case, if the parachute, you can shred through them with the highest DPS weapons in the game. And an impact grenade if you ever want to kill yourself. Again, Abrams X will be best for this, but I'm just going to use the T90 for the sake of this video. Obviously, you can use things like Adats, Bradley, Low Sat. And hit him with the wire guided, but for the sake of this, we are going to be doing it with tank turrets. Alright, so first of all, unpredictable movement. The same as a plane. You just want to move around, figure of eight, whatever you want. 
uh, but just make sure if someone's going to hip fire you, they can't hit you basically. Because obviously you can't look everywhere at once. There could be a plane behind me right now and it could be firing missiles at me without looking on. And obviously I don't want them to hit me. Now say I could hear a missile behind me or see one in front of me. You deploy your smoke screen and then you basically just do a figure of eight around it. Now the reason you do this and not stay inside is because like I said, hit fired missiles can still hit you inside the smoke screen. Because say if I'm just sat in here, they think, oh, I know they're in the smoke screen. They can just fire them without locking on. So make sure you move around. You've got to just do a figure of eight. Make sure they don't hit you. Because this way, they can't lock onto you and they can't hit fire you. So same again, I'm going to put some clips on screen. But, you know, snipe the plane like that. Oh, no, I missed. You use your machine gun for a bit. But make sure you keep this little movement thing going on. Because you don't want to stay still. That's the worst thing you can do. Okay, I can see here a plane. There we go. Oh, no, look at that. I missed. But obviously, you know, while you're sniping in the air like that, you know, you're doing this, be aware of other tanks or even just players. So let's say, you know, you're here, you're sniping another plane up there. It could be some little bot who's got two rebirths who wants to walk in there, get his weapon out and then just spray the hell out of you like that and you're dead. So always be aware of other ground vehicles. I think a good way of doing this is do a quick snipe like that. Oh no, I missed. Then look around you quick. Then go for the machine gun fire, just like that. And another minor little trick for you. You can go inside the plane hangar or the helicopter hangar and just sit like this for a bit. That way they can't attack you with bombs or missiles without being really near to you like this. And I think a general beast for drives really, it's just, it just practice really. Practice makes perfect. So you just got to gotta keep training your aim up. As you can probably tell, my aim is absolutely terrible. So just, like I said, just keep practicing your aim. That's the best way to get around sniping planes. And the worst thing you can do, do not do this, is sit in here and repair your tank. Even if you think, they've, oh, they've flown off, I'm going to repair my tank a bit. It's so tempting to do it, but don't, because it literally takes one missile. I'll say this RPG is a missile, like that. Okay, maybe that wasn't enough, but you get my point. A few missiles, a bit of a Gatling gun. Look at that. It has blown up your tank, and you're dead. It is a very humiliating death, because you don't have any chance of getting out of it, and you die pretty quick. So do not go in the repair thing. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and hope that it helped you. If you've got any more ideas for videos, then let me know in the comments. And a new poll will be out soon for the next video. And as usual, thank you to channel members.